Mark Stoney said today he wants to use some surplus funding to help address that issue while announcing some federal money will go towards addressing the issue of emergency child care. Here on uh, September 16th, the city of Richmond remains in phase three. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney says the city will use $1 million in CARES Act funding to help existing child care centers expand their capacity and will start taking applications on Friday. These funds will strengthen our neighborhood child care providers network. Meanwhile, discussions continue to use five Richmond public schools for emergency child care. The school board has expressed concern about responsibility and liability. The board will discuss it at their next meeting next week and Stoney is calling on them to approve the plan. We are asking them to use the same approach we use for our after school programming for full day child care. Stoney says he's also recommending $500,000 of expected surplus for this fiscal year be used to address racial disparities in health care, an issue exacerbated by COVID-19. Health Director Dr. Danny Avula says one way it could be used is to streamline services the city already provides. Well, an individual or a family does not have to go to, you know, six different providers to, to receive different types of services that ultimately are all needed for the well-being of that individual or family. Regarding COVID-19, Avula says while some medical metrics are dropping in the city, they're seeing an increase in clusters and points to, among other things, people returning to work. He adds they've also been reaching out to hospitals and long-term care facilities this week, gearing up for the eventual rollout of a vaccine. Those frontline workers and residents of congregate care facilities will be in the first priority group. Now, Avula says the next group would be essential workers who are high at risk, such as teachers and residents and staff in jails. The next would be people with underlying health conditions that put them at risk of COVID-19, followed by a rollout to the general public. He says right now the federal government is still saying to expect that to possibly begin by November, but he says he'll be watching the vaccine trials to see if that timeline is realistic.